What is up guys, Restless Dude here, and welcome back to the Barcelona career mode. So we had a great start to the season, winning the UEFA Super Cup against Lyon, a streak of wins in La Liga, and a big win against AC Milan in the opening game of the Champions League. In this episode, we're going to try to maintain our good uh, start to the season with uh, games against Rangers and Galatasaray in the Champions League, and the first Clasico of the season away at Madrid. So straight away, I'm getting into our first game of the episode against Strangers in the Champions League. Fadi, Holland, Demir up front, Pedri, Lisandro, De Jong in midfield, Gaia, Guardiol, Garcia in Destin defense, with Sir Stegen in goal. So as you can see, I am making a few rotations here and there, but I reckon we, we can still get the job done against Strangers. So let's go. Demir's making a run. Can we score? I'm just gonna go for it. And the defender clears it away. Dest on the attack. De Jong. Demir. And it's 1-0. Great play from Dest, from De Jong, Demir. And ultimately Holland uh, scores the first goal of the game. Yeah, just look at that. Demir had so much space to get into the box. Holland was not covered there at all. And we make it 1-0. This is looking dangerous. What are Rangers gonna do? Guardiol puts in a tackle there. Holland. Demir is making a run. Is he onside? He is. Laying it off for Holland. And Holland hits the post. Ah, so close to making it 2-0. Uh, anyway, we get the ball. Ansu. What can Ansu do? And I think that took a deflection. Yep, it did. Pedri. Can we try a finesse shot? And that was a great effort, but the keeper, the keeper had it covered. Guy, I needs to cover him. They still have the ball. This is looking dangerous. Yes, it is. But thankfully, that was a heavy touch and Sir Stegen made it. Demir is asking for the ball. I give it to him. Demir dribbles inside. Holland. And that was an awful shot from Holland. I know it was on his right foot, but still. Holland, what can we do here? Ansu, Pedri, Ansu, and it's 2-0. I tried to be patient there and it paid off. We were in no rush this time, just passing the ball around in open spaces and it worked out. Yeah, let's see that again. That's a great ball to Pedri, a back heel. And Ansupati had all the space and time to put it past the keeper. Okay, maybe the keeper could have done better there, like move at least, but I don't care. As we make it 2-0 against Rangers. And while we're at it, let's make some substitutions, because, yeah, it's the 70 minutes in. Yeah, the mirror's looking pretty tired, so we'll bring on... Um, you know what? Let's give Trinkau some game time. Desmet is uh, a star basically for us anyway, so so yeah, he can do without uh, a match. Also, let's bring off Garcia and Gor Laporte will come in. Gaia, Ansu, Pedri. Can we try a shot? And it's 3-0. I did not expect that to go in, honestly. I thought that was going to be an easy save for the keeper, but nope. Pedri just finessed that into the back of the net. Yeah, again, maybe the keeper could have done better. I mean, it wasn't even that much power, but I'll take it. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, that was... Yeah, it just had the perfect bend. Anyway, we are now 3-0 up, and I think we can just jump to a result at this point. And it's gonna finish, 3-0. I'm happy with that. 
And with that win, we are now sitting in first place with six points. Three points ahead of Milan and Galatasaray, who are on three points each. So next we have a La Liga game against Levante, who are in the relegation zone, so I'm just going to do the visual sim with a rotated team. And 60 minutes later, we have our first goal in this game. And it's Ricky Puig who scores. Hansu is true, and he makes it 2-0. Hansu is true again. And... That took a little longer than expected, but we have our third goal, and this time it's Javi scoring. So that's good to see. Anyway, we are now 3-0 up. We can just jump to result at this point. And it's gonna finish 3-0. Another 3-goal win, a clean sheet, perfect. So next we have a game against Celta Vigo, and I'm going with a pretty rotated lineup, because we have Galatasaray in the Champions League a few days later. And I am making a number of rotations in this game. And again, I'm going to do the visual sim. Well, this is not good. Celta take the lead with just 17 minutes in. But luckily, we respond just 5 minutes later with Holland grabbing the equalizer. And we score another one shortly later again because Celta messed up in defense. And we make it 3-1 with our new signing Desmet scoring. And it's 4-1. Yeah, this game is over. Let's just uh, jump to the result at this point. And it's gonna finish, 4-1. Nice. So with those wins in La Liga, we are now sitting in first place with 27 points. Four points ahead of second place, the Lille Club, who just like us, are unbeaten in the league so far. But now the focus shifts back to the Champions League, as we have Galatasaray coming up. So this is the team I'm going with. Fadi, Holland, Desmet up front, Pedri, Lisandro, and Puig in midfield, Balde, Garcia, Araujo and Dest in defense, with Sir Stegen in goal. So I am making a few rotations here and there, because I am confident we can beat Galatasaray. Holland... Okay, we get the ball back. Pedri, and that was a poor header if I'm being honest. And this is not good. This is really not good. But Sir Stegen is there to save us. Oh, come on. I thought we had that covered. Yeah. I was cons controlling Araujo specifically, but somehow that player got ahead of me. And we are 1-0 down to Galatasaray of all teams. Oh, come on, what are these long balls? What the... Oh my goodness, what a big save there from Ter Stegen, but how are we letting this happen? Desmet? What can we do here? Ricky and Ricky's shot gets blocked. Ah, what do we have to do? What can this do here? Dribbles inside. Ansu. We just about keep the ball there. Desmet. Oh, come on. How did Holland not get the ball there? Oh, come on. Don't tell me they're gonna make it 2-0. Okay, Ter Stegen grabs that ball. And it's halftime. Okay, we gotta do something in the second half. Holland. And that's a bad foul on Puig. And it's a red card! Oh my goodness. I'm now curious what happened there. Oh yeah, that is a straight red. Puig didn't even have the ball there. And with that, Galatasaray are down to 10 men. This should uh, make our job easier at equalizing and even even winning, maybe. As Puig is on the attack, and this time Holland does make it to the ball. We made, we made that advantage work much quicker than I expected. Like, straight from that free kick. Let's see what happened there, because... 
I think the Galatasaray defense were was frozen there, I think. Yeah, they didn't react quick enough. And that's an easy tap-in for Holland. I mean, he did have an earlier chance, but he didn't make it. But this time he does make it. And we are now tied at 1-1 with Galatasaray. Holland. Out to Desmet. Oh, I, that, I nearly got the pass off, but the keeper grabbed it. Edri. Ansu is making a run. He makes it. Can he get, get us the lead? Nope. The keeper makes a good save there. Out to Ansu. Ansu broke, breaks through. Can he score this time? He can. It even took a deflection off the keeper, but it wasn't enough. Yeah, let's see exactly how that goal happened, because I thought I thought the keeper was going to save it, but he didn't. Okay, let's check. Yeah, this angle should give us a better view. Wait, it didn't even touch the keeper. Like, what was that? It didn't even touch the keeper, and yet the ball changed its trajectory. Okay, I don't know what that was about, but anyway, we finally take the lead against Galatasaray. While we're at it, let's make some substitutions. So, Balde will come off, and... Okay, I, we don't have Gaia on the bench this time, so we'll just bring on Mendeza, and Dest will play as the left back. Also, I'll bring on... Yusuf Demir, because Desmet is pretty tired. Okay, finally we get the ball. Mendeza comes to the rescue. And now we could be on the attack. All on this true. Laying it off for Ansu Fadi, And we make it 3-1. It's about time we start scoring goals. Three minutes, three minutes to go. It's done. This, this game is done. Though I gotta say, this match proved to be much tougher than I thought. I mean... I thought uh, making a few rotations was a good thing, but no, Galatasaray actually made us work. And yeah, it took a red card to, to, to get us to score goals. Pedri, out to Ansu. Ansu dribbles inside. Holland, and it's 4-1. A perfect way to end the match. And Holland does the heart celebration, which is nice to see. Yeah, let's see that again. That was some great dribbling for, from Ansu to get around the players. A great assist to Holland, and Holland just powers it into the near, at the near post. Yeah, keeper was not saving that. And the referee is going to blow the whistle as we finish the game 4-1. So yeah, like I said, this was a much tougher match to begin with. But thanks thanks to that red card for Galatasaray, we managed to get the all three points. So with that win, we are setting at first place with 9 points, 3 points ahead of second place AC Milan. So next we have a game against Granada, but I'm just gonna do the visual sum with a pretty rotated team because we have Real Madrid coming up in just a few days' time. Wow, a finesse shot in a simulation? I did not, did not expect that. Anyway, Yusuf Demir gives us the lead. And Ricky Puig makes it 2-0. And De Jong makes it 3-0. This game is done. Let's just jump to result. And it's gonna finish 3-0. Good to see. So without wasting any time, I'm jumping straight to the Real Madrid game. And I'm just going with my strongest lineup. Fadi, Holland, Desmet up front, Pedri, Lisandro, De Jong in midfield, Gael Laporta, Raujo in Destin defense, with Ter Stegen in goal. And looking at the Real Madrid team, they managed to sign Hussam Awar from Lyon. Also, again, FIFA is messing up the lineups, like, what is this, Casemiro as the right winger, Aubameyang as the central midfielder, like, what is that about? Well, anyway, let's hope we can exploit that somehow. 
Dest intercepts the ball. De Jong. Holland. Okay, the ship shot failed, but De Jong puts in the rebound. Yeah, I tried to be a little cheeky there, going with a chip with Holland. <laughs> Courtois read me there, but... But yeah, he could do nothing about that rebound for De Jong. Yeah, I thought that was a perfect position for a chip shot. Courtois read that, but he could do nothing about this De Jong volley. As we take the lead against Real Madrid with 20 minutes in. Well, this is not good. Oh, we're going with a long shot, and that nearly goes in. Okay, I don't know what I was doing there. I tried to do a simple pass there, but it, it looked like a shot on goal. Well, anyway, luckily we, we survived that. Okay, this is not good. Casemiro with a cross there. Oh, come on. What are we doing? Come on, Araujo. What were you doing there? That was such an avoidable goal, like, what was that? Yeah, Araujo messed up there. Anyway, it's tied at 1-1 now. Militao gets past Gaia. Nope, he doesn't. Gaia eventually recovers. And what is that? That, that better be a red card. Or if, they, if they're allowing the uh, play to go on, I'm guessing it's going to be just a yellow. De Jong. Trying to find Ansu. Nice, Ansu gets through, but I mess up there. Okay, we still have it. Desmet, Ansu, and it's 2-1. I can't believe we still pulled off that attack. I think I overdid the dribbling with Ansu Fadi there, but... But yeah, somehow we made it work anyway. And yeah... That, that's a tough angle for Ansu, and Courtois nearly got that. He maybe should have saved that, actually. But I don't care, as long as we're the ones scoring, as we retake the lead against Real Madrid. I think it's time to make a few substitutions, so Garcia will come in for Araujo, and Ricky Puig will come in for Pedri. Ricky. Holland. Oh, we nearly found Ricky there, but... Yeah, it took a, de a deflection. Okay, this is not good, this is not good. Okay, let's just regroup, regroup for now. Please don't, please don't, no, 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 no. Oh, come on. Okay, thankfully, Hazard is offside. Man, this is, that, that was looking scary. Holland is making a run. Can we make it 3-1? No, because Courtois saves that, and that was a relatively weak shot from Holland. Like, what was that? I definitely put more power than that. Let's try a long shot. Okay, that was way off target, but it doesn't matter as the referee the referee blows for full time. And we get a narrow win against Real Madrid. No. Yeah, this, uh, this Classico was much tougher than previous meetings, but in the end, Ansu Fadi proved to be the difference with that winning goal. So straight away, I'm getting into our next La Liga game, which is against Sevilla, and this is the team I'm going with. Fadi, Trincao, Demir up front, Gavi, Lisandro, and De Jong in midfield, Gael, Laporte, Garcia, and Mendez in defense, with Sir Stegen in goal. So yeah, I am making a few rotations for this game because we have Galatasaray coming up shortly in the Champions League. And yeah, Galatasaray proved to be a tough team to crack. So so yeah, I want my first 11 ready for that game. Now Sevilla on the attack. Laporte nearly deals with them, but man, that's... Man, that was a great run, but luckily Ter Stegen saves us. Acuna tries to do something there, but Trincao deals with him. And now we could be on the attack. I see Ansu Fadi making a run. Out to Gavi. Oh, come on. I thought that was going to be 1-0. Come on. I was confident. 
I was so confident Gavi was gonna score. Maybe I should have laid it off for Ansu instead. I see Ansu making a run. He's on side. Dribbles inside. Pass to De Jong. And it's 1 0. And it's another long shot from De Jong. From outside the box. Yeah, beautiful. Let's see that again. Ansu dribbles inside, lays it up for De Jong, and De Jong powers it from outside the box into the into the top corner. With his left foot, by the way. And my goodness, that nearly got blocked, but yeah, that was like treading a needle. Anyway, 1-0 up against Sevilla. Sandro, Trincao, Fadi, back to Trincao. Fadi is making another run. Can we score another one? And Ansu Fadi makes it 2-0. A great assist from Trincao there. And yeah. And yeah, the run that Fadi made was brilliant. Yeah, Sevilla just fell asleep there. And Ansu Fadi just finesses that into the corner. Anyway, 2 0 up against Sevilla. Gaia deals with the Sevilla player there. And we could be on the attack right now. Ansufari is making another run. Can he outrun the Sevilla defense? No. He's forced to dribble inside. What can we do here? Can we score? Did that really go in? I mean, that was straight at the keeper. What was that? Okay, let's see that again. What happened there? How did that go into the back of the net? Yeah... I, I'm pretty sure the keeper should have done much better there. Like, he could have touched that even without moving, in my opinion. Well, I guess you can't stop on Safari. Anyway, we are now 3 0 up, so let's just jump to the result because I think we're pretty sorted. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, a few more goals after that, and we finished the game 5 1. Th that's great to see. And so, 12 games into the La Liga season, and we're sitting in first place with 36 points, 10 points ahead of second place Atletico. And we are still unbeaten. Can we possibly go on an in invincible season? I mean, we won the treble last season, so the only way this season could top the previous season is if we do something like an invincible season. I, I doubt that's possible, but but yeah, let's make that our goal for this season. Anyway, it's time to hit the pause button on La Liga as we go back to the Champions League for our second game against Galatasaray. And if we win this game, we'll be qualified for the round of 16. So let's just uh, get the job done ASAP. So because of some fitness issues, this is the team I'm going with. Carmona, Holland, Desmet up front, Pedri, Lisandro, Puig in midfield, Gaia, Gordiol, Araujo and Destin defense, and I'm even giving uh, Inyaki Pena a game. Dest. Out to Desmet. Cross comes in. Oh, come on. That could have been Carmona's first goal. The tie score. Carmona. Holland. Carmona is making a run. What can we do here? Puig, Holland, oh come on, that should have been 1-0. Puig, I see Holland making a run, Holland has made the run, what can we do here? Puig, passing it, oh come on, that was a great interception I gotta say. Just get the ball. What? Oh, come on. Seriously? We should have dealt with that. Like, how how do we not win the ball there? And again, they basically score from a corner. Like, that is so annoying. Anyway, Galatasaray are again 1-0 up against us. Carmona. 
Ricky, oh come on. It's halftime and I think we need on Safari on the pitch. Like, Carmona has been unlucky in this game. So yeah, Fari will come on and... Okay, that's the only change I'm gonna make for now. Now Desmet on the run. Can we find Holland here? Cross it in for Ansu Fari. Okay. Oh, so close. I thought I thought Ansu Fari was gonna put in the goal there, but but yeah, there was no time. Tried to lay it out for Puig and we hit the post. Desmet. Can we score this time? Just shoot. Oh, come on. So close. Ugh. A few deflections here and there and that could have gone in. Pedri. Holland is making a run. Can we equalize? Come on. Why the header? Why didn't you just volley it? Why the header, Holland? Come on. I wanted you to, to volley that into the back of the net. Are you kidding me? How many more saves is this keeper gonna make? Desmet. Holland is through again. Holland. And finally we get the equalizer. Again, we're making this look hard than it, uh, harder than it needs to be. Like, come on. This is Galatasaray, not uh, Manchester City or something. Anyway, that was a great run. Holland dribbling inside, shooting point blank, and yeah, finally this keeper lets in a goal. Like, honestly, wait, did he actually get a hand to that as well? I swear, this is this keeper on drugs or something? Like, how is he so good? Well, anyway, we are now tied at 1-1. Let's try to get the winner now. Oh, come on, guy, just steal it. Don't, don't. Nice save by Pena there. I thought that was going in, but Pena comes to the rescue. And the header is off target. Ah, finally. Okay, Gaia. Ansu. Ansu. Oh, come on. I swear. This keeper, man. This keeper is the reason we didn't win this match. We should have won this match. Let's be honest. We had so many chances, but no, the keeper had to deny us every time, apart from that one Holland goal. I'm curious, what 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 are the stats for this game? Look at this, Muslera, the Galatasaray goalkeeper, with a match rating of 10. He was man of the match as well. Nine shots in total, seven on target, and he made six saves. Like. Yeah, this, this guy is the reason we failed to win this match. We should have scored the way more than one goal, but no. Muslera had to go full Neuer on us. Well, even with that draw against Galatasaray, we'd, we still qualify for the round of 16 because we have a better head-to-head -head result. Also, that game against AC Milan will decide whether we top the group or not. So next we have a game against Espanyol, but I'm just gonna do the visual sim with, with my first team because we have a two week break after this. And we take the lead, thanks to a long shot by Pedri. And we make it 2-0 after Espanyol lose the ball in, in their own half. 3-0, Holland scores, this game is done. Let's just jump to result at this point, and it's gonna finish 3-0, good to see. So this is gonna be our final game of the episode, and it's against Villarreal. And I am making a few rotations for this game, because we have AC Milan in the Champions League shortly after. So Fadi, Holland, Desmet up front, Gavi, Cabral and De Jong in midfield, Gaia, Laporte, Garcia and Dest in defense, with Ter Stegen in goal. Let's go. Gavi. Can we find someone there? We find Ansu, but the keeper makes a good save there. What can Gavi do here? Hold on. Back to Gavi. Can Gavi give us the lead? Nope. I think that's it. Oh no, it wasn't. It's, it was actually off target. 
Ansu is making a run. Okay, we still have the ball. We find Holland. Desmet. De Jong. Desmet. Oh, come on, Desmet. What was that for a shot? Wow, that's some good dribbling there. And this is dangerous. What are they going to do? They're going back. Okay, they, they are still finding the way into our box. And luckily we get it out for a goal kick. Wait, what was that? What was that? I thought that uh, we had a player up front. Okay, we deal with that, but my goodness, that was scary. Desmet, let's try a finesse shot, why not? And I legit thought that was going in, but nope, it's just wide. De Jong, Desmet is making a run, can he get there? He can, but that first touch let us down. Gavi, Ansu, back to Gavi, back to Ansu, and it's 1-0. It's about time we score. We just had to be patient. Let's see that go. Ansu passing it to Gavi, Gavi just dribbling inside the box, allowing Ansu to get inside, and he just powers it into the top corner. Yeah, the keeper, the keeper couldn't react in time. And we finally take the lead against the Villarreal. Gaia gets the ball back. Now we could be on the attack again. Ansu. Ansu is basically true. Can we go all the way, maybe? That was too easy. I think the Villarreal defense were too focused on uh, covering Holland, but but yeah, they they forgot that Ansu Fati is well, what he's capable of. Yeah, look at that. Uh, that that Earth defender tried to cover Holland instead. Yeah. Yeah, that was a mistake on Villarreal's part. And Ansu Fati scores his second and Barcelona's as well. Okay, what was that? That was... Yeah, that was a, a mistake on my part. I kind of misdirected my, one of my players. I think... Was it Gaia? I, I don't uh, remember correctly. Yeah, I think uh, I made the mistake uh, with uh, misdirecting Gaia. And with that, Villarreal get a goal back instantly. Holland. Fadi, what can Fadi do? He still has it. And Varial somehow deal with that. Is that gonna go out? Ah, thank goodness. Anyway, while we're at it, let's make some substitutions. So, yeah, Ansofari is pretty tired and I want him for that AC Milan game. So, Demir will come off. We'll switch him with Desmet. Also, Ricky Puig will come on for Gavi. Ricky, Holland, is that onside? It is, but the shot was poor, straight at the keeper. Control the ball, let's try a finesse shot. And that was way off target. Holland, De Jong, and it's 3-1, it's over. No comeback for Villarreal. We're in added time as well. Yeah, let's see that again. A nice pass for Holland. I think we we made that a little harder than it needs to be. But what matters is that De Jong manages to get the shot off and put the ball in the back of the net. And we make it 3-1 against Villarreal. And the referee blows for full time. We continue our winning run in La Liga, which is unbelievable. We're still unbeaten, but look at the other stats. We scored 40 goals and conceded just 5. So we're not even in the double digits when it comes to conceded goals.
So yeah, our defense is doing a great job this season. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this episode. Next episode, we'll wrap up the Champions League group stages with games against uh, AC Milan and Rangers. We'll have the round of 16 draw as well. And I think we'll go all the way to January. Thank you all for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Subscribe if you have not, that'd be greatly appreciated. And as for me, Restless Dude out.